Hello and welcome to a film mixologist, a place on the internet thingy where you know, customers send us some stuff uh, that's vexing them uh, for us to just have a look to see what we what we think's gone wrong. Case in point, um, this Zenith VN2 um, card that I've got from a customer, uh, which apparently is complaining uh, that it um, that it's overfueling and it has a leak on the shaft. Um, so what I need to do is I need to kind of explore that uh, so so this video is going to be a bit of a kind of diagnostic about what needs to be done but also i've got here uh, this is kind of my own part of my own stock i've got a vn carb not the vn2 the vn uh, and i think it was going to be a good one to do a bit of a you know side by side comparison uh, in terms of um, what they are so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of bring you a um, little bit closer and I'm going to show you around uh, the units, uh, what are the similarities, what are the differences um, and we'll take it from there. Let's start with this kind of VN, VN2. This is the one um, that the customer sent in. As as, uh, as you can see, this is this is brand new. So this tells me that this carb has been kind of at the receiving end of some rebuild i mean this gasket it maybe isn't new uh but if you look here i think this is this gasket is new so i think so i think there is some it's been at the receiving end of some maintenance and if i look here there doesn't seem to be a lot of play um in the shaft which obviously in order to test it properly you need to just take this out completely yeah so but anyway uh i'll test it in a minute but let's see what the difference are with the vn um, and the vn2 so in terms of kind of outside appearance they are kind of pretty much identical um and i, and I would say they have the same uh, dimensions um, and let's have a look let's measure them a bit so what's the height here uh, ah okay look this is interesting so the VN is the VN2 is slightly ever so slightly taller uh, than the VN, so that's uh, that, that's nice to know. Um, let's measure the throats. Let's have a look. So here I've got uh, 58, and here same size. So okay, so the throats are the same size, and. But what is different, ah, and here you can see the difference in height, probably, uh, because look, the, the throttle, sorry, it's a bit mangled here. So the throttle in the VN2 is slightly recessed from, um, from here. So probably the difference in height comes from here. In the VN2 is slightly higher than your VN, and the VN has a smaller throttle. So let's uh, <clears throat> so let's measure. Here we go. Thirty one, two, three. And here, how much have we got? Uh, thirty. So it's thirty three here. Um, and 30 here and this one is kind of slightly taller uh, so those those are the differences between these two carbs obviously it's a, it is it's good for me to 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 find this out because uh, because I, I didn't know before um so there you go i hope you find that useful and now what we're going to do is we're going to perform some tests uh, on this unit first because i want to just you know be able to send it back to the customer um 
So what I what I need to do is I need to ascertain whether it is a it is a it is a thing that the shaft is bad or is there something else uh, going wrong? So I need to do a little bit of disassembly uh, of this unit. Okay, so I think I found I found what the problem is here, and it is the following: if I put the car up like that, yeah, and I use my my tester. I mean, this probably it's not gonna kind of look great because you need to like do it with two hands. You need to hold this thing there. As you can see, it's not. It's not like taking taking a vacuum and it's losing it ever so slightly. You can see it in the dial for the vacuum. Yeah, so this is the kind of the VN2, the one that the customer sent in. And now let's try the same procedure with my junk uh, kind of VN. So let's let's put this in there and let's do Obviously, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to just kind of hold this steady. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. So look at the dial. It's, it's rock steady. Uh, so it's not leaking. So you can see that's the difference. Uh, between the two so I think we need to explore um, a bit more kind of the needle and seat assembly on this VN uh, before we start getting into all sorts of stuff uh, with it okay so I've just taken the kind of needle and seat assembly and look what I found in the bottom there there is like like for some, some sort of like corrosion or metal filings I don't know what that that was that was there so I think that that might have got into the needle and seat assembly and not let it um, close properly so I think I've I think I might have found you know what the issue was okay so let's just double confirm here that I suspect this is the case so now I've got this is the needle and seat assembly that came with the carb. And I am getting very, very faint kind of loss in there. Very, very faint. And let's look here. This is a scrap one that I've got. And this one is, you know, pretty solid. This is this is like an old one. Because there, there, there is another way that you, that, that you can test them. And you can test them by sucking, basically. So you shut them. And you try to kind of like generate a vacuum. And with this one, and the, the, this is the old one, obviously. Uh, this one. Oh yeah, this one, this one definitely closes. So I think I think it's more around kind of the, the the needle and seat assembly that was a bit, um, you know, a bit dodge. Um, so what we need to do is um, just replace that, and I think the car will be golden. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I I, I think I finally got the um, the plan. Uh, for what I want to do to make this unit live again. So I don't know if you can see around there But you've got still some residue like if it was like rust um, Rust dirt there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to give it a little clean uh, With with carb cleaner spray the same thing with this this circuit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that the that the shaft um is is okay so i'm gonna just temporarily take these things off uh, very carefully and then just put this back on um but i think the shaft should be okay and i think the main problem was this needle and seat assembly which i'm going to change for this kind of old one so let's get uh, let's get on with it and see if i can um you know just finish this so i can get it ready to ship to the customer 
Okay, so I think I'm ready now to start kind of slamming this unit back together. Um, obviously I did all of the cleaning for the fuel bowl and I'm going to show you now a bit close up that I think this shaft is it's it's fine. It, it just it just doesn't need um, any work here. The, the, the play on the shaft is, is, is not enough to cause kind of um, kind of misoperation of the carb in a sense. So I'll show I'll show you a little bit close up what I've done so far. And as you can see now, hopefully I'm showing it there uh, with the light. Um, this is kind of m much cleaner than it was before. And I've also cleaned all this uh, kind of metering body. I cleaned the jets and I cleaned also the um, the accelerator pump and the and the accelerator pump exit. So I know it's going to have accelerator pump. And as, and as I told you before, look, there is no meaningful play in here. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Now I'm going to kind of reconstruct it and I'll show you kind of at the end of the video what's the, uh, let's say, the final uh, final stage um, of of the build. So this is going to bring us to the end of the episode. Uh, I've, I've done, I've built the unit up. As, uh, as you can see, I put it there. Uh, so you can see it's just like the same carb just put back together again. Um, so, but I want to finish on kind of the two reflections uh, that kind of the two characteristics of this project. The first one is kind of dodgy new parts. So don't trust new parts, especially nowadays. The quality is not that great. And B, something that I've said 100,000 times probably on the channel, but I'll say for the 100,001th time, which is whenever you have a classic car that's been sitting for a long time or you've restored it or or you start you putting it to use for for the first time in a long time you always 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 100 must uh, clean all the fuel lines clean the tank clean everything because if not you're running the risk of what happened in this particular project which was you had that ingress of that like dirt and 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 rust into the fuel bowl which may or may not have damaged the needle and seat assembly to be fair i don't know for sure but i think now this this unit is in a is in a much better kind of condition much better shape to be able to just be installed back into the car and just um and start running basically so I want to say thank you very much for watching and if you've got any questions put it down in the comments and if not um, I'll see you in the next episode.